So, I started shaving my legs in ninth grade. And apparently, I still haven't finished. <laughs> it wasn't something I really questioned. All the girls around me did it that age. All the women I knew shaved their legs. So wouldn't I do the same? When I asked my mother about it, I told her I wanted to. She asked me why, and I had no good answer for her. But, but I did it anyway. Uh, so fast forward five years. I'm at a liberal, small college campus. So liberal, in fact, that the very few conservative students we had, they formed their own union, and they complained loudly of being marginalized. It was a pretty easy place to make this shift. In fact, I already suspected I was in the minority on the women's rugby team as someone who did shave her legs. We insisted on being called women, by the way, not girls, but that's a talk for another day. Returning to my home in the South was not as easy of a place to make this shift. It's still not easy. I walk down the corridor in the mall, and I'm aware of eyes that linger just a little too long upon my legs. I've heard the stifled smirks of teenage girls. And I see my students look away when they think I've seen them puzzling over my hairy legs. I draw strength, though, from my past and my present, my college roommate, my husband, a few kindred spirits I've met along the way. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> Um, yes, that's right. <laughs> My resolve has waned a few times, and on a handful of occasions, I have shaved my legs over the past 23 years. And each time, I felt I gave a little bit of my soul away. And I let down some individuals, like the colleague who told me she just liked being near me. She felt empowered. And she admitted she didn't shave her own legs, a fact I didn't know because of the long skirts she always wore. And I think of the former student who had the courage to reveal his gender identity to his family and thanked me for showing him how to live intentionally. But I feel I have left too much unspoken I want someone to ask me, why don't you shave your legs? <laughs> so I stand here before you today to answer that question out loud. I quit shaving my legs because I reject the notion that as a woman, I must remove a part of me to be accepted. I continue not shaving my legs because I want to send the message to my children and to my students the girls, and the boys, that they have a choice. Even in the face of great societal pressure, they always have a choice. And I want them to know that I will support them to stand proudly on their own two legs, hairy or not. Will you? <laughs>